Hello everyone, welcome back to Dreki Cup 17. I've heard that this game is going to be ridiculous and I'm sure that it will not disappoint. This is going to be between Sikai Jian and Smog the Golden. Smog the Golden Wizard. This is uh, Group B, I believe. Let's go ahead and read our um, pick document here to get some context for the games. Anyway, it's going to be Conant versus Sylvan for Game 1, and Sikai Jan is grabbing the Shallows. Looks like Kartoba for Game 2. Uh, factions mostly stay the same, but Sikai Jan is going to swap to Coalition. We'll see what the game plan is. I see a base runner retire here for Smog. Same for Sikai Jan. No probe, no nothing. No smoke. Terrible. Oh. Oh. Okay, uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's always potential for some nonsense on uh, on the shallows, but it looks like Smog is taking the taking the more cautious approach of you know leaving your carrier on the main base at the beginning of the game. Ref mode's an option if he wants it. There it is. And I think it's a little bit risky to build too many salves here. I think six is fine, but after that you really need to go straight for skin fab. But for Sikai Jan, this is going to be a uh, SC first game. Production upgrade is starting before LAV fed, that's interesting, but uh, I think that's actually the correct way to do this if you want to be spamming LAVs after the SC comes out, because, again, this tech takes a lot longer to get than that one. Whoa, lightning. Anyway. Yeah, okay, what the heck is this thing, anyway? I guess it's a radar dome, huh? Casually getting struck by lightning, though. It's, it's interesting. Anyway, yeah, we do see Sandskimmer Fab coming out here for Smog. That's good. And I'm sure we'll see LABs in just a moment here for Sick IGN. Either that, or it's gonna be something really nonsensical. As you know, he's been known to do before. For now, building more cells. Okay. I have a feeling something stupid is about to happen. <laughs> yeah, still no sign of a uh, still no sign of LAV fab. More salves being built, so I think this is going to be like a three base no tech for sick Jin. That's risky, man. That's risky. And if you're Smog, you know, you should do exactly this, right? Move out with the Sand Skimmer to try and get vision of your, what your opponent is doing. And when you see that it's this, you're like, okay, you're dead now. At least that's, that's, that's how I see this game progressing. Okay, now we have LAV Fab teching. More lightning struck, by the way. Let's see it though. Ah, is that the status? Okay, so if you go for one, if you get one victory here as Sikai Jin, then you can make it to the upper bracket. Okay. This is Railgun Fab for Smog. 2PC. Yeah, pretty slow build. This is not going to be able to punish uh, the greed, I don't think, from Sikai Jin. Although, it's going to be nice to do some damage to these uh, salvagers here. It's going to be straight to fighter and gunship, though, for Sikai Jin. Yeah, you can actually kill this self. You should stay. Uh, ALMs don't do that much damage. The fire rate is quite bad at this power level. But yeah, Fighter and Gunship is going to very definitely beat uh, Railguns, so Smog is going to need to see that this tech is coming and have an answer for it. Also, this is always pretty awkward. <laughs> what? D.O.K. man. Flawless game. Flawless game. But yeah, Smog taking up like a very defensive positioning here, which is unfortunate, right? This is not what he needs to be doing to defeat Sikajian's uh, strategy. Salvager. 
And uh, fighter and gunship is done here, but I don't know what Sekaijin is building. It's not those, that's for sure. Probably another SC or something? Okay, he's gonna go for tack bombers, I suppose. It's gonna be a proper tack stack. <gasps> Teleported salvager, I saw that! <laughs> Yeah, Smog's carry positioning causes units to get teleported into mid. It's just one of these things. And uh, Heavy Rail's range calibration is turning on. I don't really know about that because you don't have any Heavy Rail guns, nor is it really an effective tech at this moment. But, you know, it's interesting to see. Interesting tech choice. And actually, I think Sikai Jian ought to, like, cancel the Strike Fighters, because he won't have money to put down the Tech Bombers when they're finished, but, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Just very, very, uh, passive game from Smog here, and as a result, Sikai Jian's sort of allowed to do whatever he likes, and also no scouting is gonna mean that these Triple Bombers are hitting the field, there's no two ways about it. And when they hit the field, I don't think there's gonna be any answer to them at all. We do have Honor Guards coming out. Okay, this one heavy railgun. That's good. Oh gosh. That'd be interesting, eh? Okay, Sikai Jin finished bombs, but he's just making more strike fighters. I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this. Just built the just built the bombs. Oh. The, the see the the really tragic thing is that I'm pretty sure I can see where this game is going already. Yeah, that'd be interesting, man. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Smog teching wide, by the way. Not actually building any of these uh, honor guards. Sekai still with not a single ground unit to support himself, so he's... Like, he's being revealed here, but unless Smog is seeing it, uh, it doesn't really mean anything, you know? Missing there now. Still waiting for the bombers. By the way, the uh, the hangar. Okay, there we go. We've got one building. The hangar size in Jiraki is a bit smaller than in Vanilla. Used to be you could make uh, one more wing of strike fighters here. That's full wing, man. That's uh, that's as many strike fighters as you can get. And I assume he's gonna build the three bombers and the two gunships too at this rate. If you're going all in. Just go all in, you know? Don't think you can air snipe with full wing? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll sure find out, won't we? <laughs> we'll sure find out. I mean, one thing's for sure, the gunship is not gonna do anything, right? This is armor 18 on the carrier, and, you know, gunships have, like, four packets, I think. Yeah, it's not gonna do any damage at all, but... But the bombers, on the other hand, they're going to be pretty effective. We'll see what happens. <laughs> also, uh, Carrier Systems 3 is teching, so there's actually like more health on this carrier than there normally would be, so that's not going to help either. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about this. Interceptors. This is this is very wide teching for smog. I would recommend not doing such things. Yeah. 
smoked fish good, man. See, this is where the gunships would be good. I don't <laughs> This is like the prelude to Desert Storm over here, oh my gosh. That's full wing right there, man. It's 12 strike fighters, two gunships, and three bombers. Yeah, I don't really know what he's planning on doing with it, but I can't imagine it's gonna end well. Yep, straight on the carrier. I guess we'll see what happens here. Again, gunships doing like zero damage. Regen's being powered, good. Is this carrier actually gonna die? It was killed by a gunship! No, no, man. <laughs> oh, that's just horrible. That's just horrible. 50 damage with no packets? Maybe it can damage carriers. Oh my gosh. Well, that just happened. <laughs> oh, let's move on to game two and just try and forget about this ever happening. This is a good example, though, of why you should not sit back and let your opponent do whatever the heck he likes, because it's usually a bad strategy. Usually a bad strategy. <laughs> Game 2 is going to be on Kartoba. Again, slight faction swap as Sikaijian is playing Coalition now. I have a feeling that means turrets or something like that. I don't know. And if Just Care of his calculation was right, that's Sikaijian in the upper bracket, so that's pretty interesting. Gonna knock out Void Warrior there. Can't say I'm terribly happy with that result. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a Kit Kat to make myself feel better. Well, you gotta remember, Just Carrier, nobody ever accused Sikai Jan of being smart, alright? He could well go for it. He could well go for it. Looks like we're gonna have a skimmer rush here for Smog the Golden. Uh, you can see quite a heavy CU focus here with the four cells. No blast drones being built, though. This reminds me of the early days of DOK. This used to be a very, very meta build in the first version. Indeed. Anyway, SC first build here for Sick IGN. Again, he's playing this very, very greedy. He doesn't have uh, LAB Fab finished. Oh my gosh. No. What? Why is it like that? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's 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 try not to focus on that. <laughs> Oh no, dude. <laughs> anyway, this is how you punish greed, alright? Uh, sand skimmers are getting in there, one salve is dead already. I like the micro tent, but unfortunately that skim is going to die, unfortunately. More salves are falling. And Sikai Jan is power rushing here, that's not gonna work. Because once railguns come out, uh, you're dead, so... <laughs> 
We'll see what Smog ends up doing. Needs more salvagers on our use to really make that work. Well, that guy doesn't seem to be interested in it, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Oh my gosh. But, like, Smog told me- oh, now there's two of them! No! No! Smog was telling me that, like, his computer has, like, a bind on F3, so he can't use it or something. So, you know, I'm spamming F3 to select the idols there, but I, I guess that's something that he's not allowed to do, unfortunately. <laughs> oh well, uh, Salvador's got to work eventually. Sans- Assault Shift? No, 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 no! Okay, so, you, you need to- you need to be getting railguns here. That's how you kill carriers, is with railguns. And Sandskimmer raiding? Why are you get- Don't get this! No, man, don't do- don't do that. No! Oh. Like, are you gonna build assault ships here? They don't really do anything for you that the sand skimmers can't already. Also, it would have been nice to finish this thing off, but... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, that really is one, isn't it? Oh dear. Yeah, what Smog wants to be doing is just keep getting in here and killing things, right? Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, you could build a soul chips for that too, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, if your opponent is offering you his rear end on a silver platter, you take it, man. That's what you do. Railgun fab would be really good here. Anyway, it's gonna be a second PC. That's also not bad on its own right, but I, I don't think it's the choice right now. And yeah, see, this is why I don't like Assault Ship Fab. You're not actually gonna build any, so what does it what does it do for you? Not really anything. This is good though. A couple skims split off from the main group, just terrorizing the free base. These guys should get in there too. They can definitely do some damage as well. Down goes a uh, down goes a sand skimmer right there. We do indeed have base runner inventory Tekken, so it's gonna be one of those games. <laughs> And looks like turrets are getting set down. Missile ship, Fab? What? What? Why? What, what are you getting this for? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you really don't need missile ship, Fab, alright? You really don't. You really don't. Oh, no. Turrets making themselves felt as well. It's gonna be difficult to push into the bases now. Yeah, I just I I don't know. <laughs> like at this point, you should just be getting ref mode, I guess, because you can't you can't do anything else in this game. <laughs> I think the attack has stalled out. I mean, that was definitely a window that Sikai Jin could have just died to railguns, but. The moment is past. The moment is past, and now all we can do is look to the future. Also, Sigan Jan about to just throw 10 RUs into the trash can over here. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy it. We do actually have a couple of salt chips now, but that's not really good because they can't easily push on the turret locations. Uh, we do have ref boat though. All right, we're getting somewhere. That's when I woke up on. Uh, that's when I woke up yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a long freaking day yesterday. I had to tune the piano in the church because I was doing a musical number and, you know, it sounded awful, so I had to fix it, and then I had to practice the organ and set all the stops, and then I had to play the organ and the piano, and then, oh my gosh. 
Long day. Long day. <laughs> Railgun fed! Hey, finally! Yes, that's what you do to counter carriers. Now, if you build assault railguns, I'm going to actually find you and kill you, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Hopefully that's not what's gonna be, uh, not gonna be what's gonna happen. Yeah, it was a good time. It was just very stressful. That's all. Soul chips are on the base, but again, turret is actually pretty good at this sort of thing. Uh. See, one of them is almost already dead. But if they just hold this hill back here, they can sort of stop his opponent from ever mining again from that base, so that's pretty good. We got Systems 4 teching. Oh, uh, try not to move into line of sight of the turret, please. But yeah, Systems 4 is when Coalition gets the nuke, so keep your eye on that. Salt ships coming through. Yeah, I mean, if Sikai Jan had, like, any tech, maybe this would be better for him, but, you know... Fleet cap going up. Okay, heavy railguns. Good, good, good. Now, you want to keep them split up to preempt the nuke if you know it's coming, which I assume he doesn't, but, you know. These missile ships are not going to do you a whole lot of good, I'm sorry to say. Well, with LAV fab not even being finished. I guess they can kill probes. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I don't think you can get this other one. You should just focus on the one you can kill. No, don't lose the units. Ah. Uh, okay, well, well anyway, uh, the railgun is hitting the carrier. So that's good. Now we'll see if he can stop this. I don't think so. Oh, close, but just barely the artifact has made it out. And see, now I think this one gets out too because of that, but maybe not. It's not actually moving to the correct place on the sphere, so that would that would speed things up a bit. Yeah, a whole singular railgun, you know. Well, hey, it's it's better than uh, it's better than we've had so far. <laughs> Siege cruisers, what are you getting this for? Just build railguns, man. Just build railguns. Smog really does like his his wide teching, doesn't he? And uh, thanks to another turret placement, another artifact is going to get out over here. Now, the missile ships are actually pretty well suited to killing turrets, did you know? They can just use that direct fire barrage ability to kill them and just tank on the way up. <laughs> yeah, trying one of everything, right? And look, the assault ships are still in a good position, so you're still not allowed to mine here. I think this turret actually... No, I don't think it has a line of sight. So that's good. That's good. I'm not sure why there's... No oh yeah, this turret is actually behind the hill. You know, it, it does give vision. Okay, you don't want to be you don't want to be stop moved where a turret can shoot you. That's 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 my advice for the day. Is just get over this hill. No, get over the hill. Get over the hill. Where? Oh. Well, that happened. <laughs> Range calibration just ticked. I heard. That's interesting. But again, like, the railgun's all bunched up like this. Sekai Jin can actually, yeah, he can just nuke him, so let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one is actually not going to die, fortunately. So one of them lived. But... Okay, yeah, I, I guess that's true. He can't leave... He can't leave sensors, so... Otherwise his computer will melt. So that, that gives him a bit of leeway. I take it back, I take it back. But, like, really, the game plan here is just... More railguns, that's all you need. That's all you need. Good! More railguns! Yes, this is what I want to see. Good, 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 good. And again, uh, missile ships can actually just kill this turret as well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. Well, except that, you know, in an RTS game, all of your individual unit uh, pilots are just like idiots that have to be micromanaged in everything they do. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. <laughs> now, to be fair, Con of Siege is actually not a bad unit, you know, so that's, that's gonna be something, but I, I don't think it was the choice here, really. <laughs> true, true. New cooldown is about halfway done, by the way, so we're gonna have another one of those before too long. Yeah, he's just relying on armor, which does heal the carrier when it's at full, but it's not very fast. More heavy rails, good, good. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure what it does for you, but, you know, there's a thought there. There's a thought there. And yeah, Sikai Jane is max power, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> but you do have eyes. Okay, good. <laughs> that's good to know. That's good to know. Oh no, this is really bad for, for Smog the Golden. So this is another situation of carrier block, right? When units are on top of the carrier, they can't shoot. So you can see these two railguns here trying to hit the carrier, but they can't because they're trying to yield to give way. This is, uh, this is a little bit better though, now that the railguns are actually firing. Well, some of them anyway. Oh, even the siege cruiser isn't firing now. Oh no. Oh no. Kind of siege is going to fall, and this is one beefy carrier you don't want to mess with. Nuke is available as well, although Sikai Jin doesn't have them. Oh no, no, he, he has 4,000 CUs. He definitely has the money for the cruise missile. Oh no. I'm gonna say it again, by the way, the, the the real key to beating these turrets is to just use the missiles and kill them for free. Anyway, <laughs> Sikaijin actually feeling like he needs to back out. He doesn't, by the way, but he's going to back out, so that's good for, uh, that's good for Smog. Officially overheating, by the way. He's taking power out of what? No. Nah. Look, overheat is not really that much of a big deal in the Jiraki. I would just let it happen. Don't worry about it. Plus, it kind of looks cool. Yes, absolutely. Again, this is why a couple support crews just to heal you would be good. You know, he's he's got the money for it. I guarantee you that. He's got the money for it. <laughs> And Smog the Golden built an interceptor? What? I, I don't know what that's for. Again, just kill this turret. It's been here this whole game. Oh my gosh. What's happening? Uh, no, that's, that's the wrong lesson, man. Don't... no. Again, carrier block is brutal, right? These railguns aren't shooting at all because of carrier block, so you really want to be careful about that. Another missile ship? Why? What is this doing for you? I mean, I guess it kills probes. I don't know. And Sikai Jian is prioritizing it. What? <laughs> and he and he's not even using the nuke. He's gonna die here. This is like dangerous. Oh my gosh. You're not interested in not interested in using the nuke, eh? He's actually dead. He's actually dead. 
What? This might truly be the worst game of DOK ever played. I need I need some soap for my eyes. <laughs>